This is the Bannerlord simp campaign. Let's go over all the rules and setup, starting with character culture. We are going to play as Empire because we need to simp to Regea, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail. But it gets even better than that. We've got a custom. I spent a little bit of time building this guy out. <laughs> if you've never heard of this guy, just go to YouTube and type in Dimitri the Lover. It's freaking hilarious, man. Yeah, hi there, all good, Dimitri. I have no trouble meeting women. I'm Greek. I'm completely single. I'm very intelligent. I'm great in bed. I make great money. There's nothing wrong with me. Let the romance begin. Okay, bye. We need somebody that's worthy of Regea, and I think Dimitri the Lover is our man. So we're going to play as him. If you look at the rule set, at Clan Tier 2, we have to join Southern Empire. We're not allowed to start a kingdom, and if the king or queen dies and we get elected, we have to abdicate immediately. So we're not allowed to be in control of a kingdom at all. Any peace deal, we're not allowed to influence. So if they want like five wars, we got to let it happen. We're just going to have to deal with it. Personal combat, not allowed. So again, that's going to play into our build. We're going to use mercenary units only in the very beginning until we become landed. Once we become landed, meaning we get a fief, then we're able to recruit our own troops, but we're not able to just go around the map and recruiting whatever we want. I don't think we'll be converting prisoners as well. Maybe avoid that. It'll add a little bit more challenge to it. No smithing, no cheese, no exploits. And we don't have any mods on other than the basics like RTS camera for speeding up and better time, things like that. And then we got to give Regea foot massage. <laughs> we want to avoid anything in the top half. I don't really care about combat stats because we're not allowed to fight. So we're basically picking anything that gives us social and intelligence. I don't really care too much about cunning either. We will probably later in the campaign, but early on, not so much. Way with people, we're going to take another point into social. I'm not as worried about the focus points. I'm really concerned about the attribute points. So again, we want social and intelligence. I think I did this one. Yeah, because leadership is not actually it's not that hard to level up early game, but it's nice to have a little bit of a head start. So this is the only one we have to take a point into crossbow. All of these have combat skills, but at least this one gives us a point into intelligence and also a focus point into engineering. So this is probably the best pick here. Like I said, we're not going to be using this anyways, but not really any way around it. And I think this one has treated people well. These other ones aren't that good. Yeah, this is the only one that gives us a point into social. So we'll take that. Now, this is the part I wasn't 100% sure on. I'm either 30 or 40. And it's kind of a tough choice because we are for sure going to max out medicine. So we'll have the perks that allow us to live longer. But I feel like this campaign is going to run a bit longer than normal just because of the way it is. Let's go 40. It'll give us a little extra time. Now, this is very important. We need to have a flag that is becoming of what we are trying to portray. So we are Dimitri the Lover. And we are all about getting that snoo snoo from whoever we're trying to target. So we need to woo her. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go for a rose. We're going to offer her a rose, make it as big as we can make it. That's for Regea. And our clan name is the Lovers, and we are Dimitri the Lover. All right, so Bannerlord difficulty, all the usual stuff. Let's head in, and we need to sell a bunch of stuff. We obviously don't need any of this, and Dimitri the Lover needs to show off his package. I'm great in bed. Because that's just the kind of guy he is. He doesn't wait around for anybody. He doesn't play games. He's Greek. He's attractive. He makes good money, all that, yada, yada. So we're selling everything we got. We don't need any of it. And let's see, they do have some sheep. Meat is selling for 38. The sheep are selling for 48. So that's an easy win. We'll buy all of it and then immediately go back in, chop it up and sell it. We'll keep some of the meat because we want to have some of that XP. We'll sell that back. Now we can get hired pikes. These guys are awful. They're bad. We don't want to take that at all. Okay, so there's not really much we can do here. I'm a little scared to buy anything on the first day to, to take it elsewhere and sell it. Just in case we get hosed and, and stuck with the stuff. So let's actually just skip it. We'll go to a different town. Perk-wise, we're not doing any tournaments because we can't fight ourselves. So, Virile. Which, I, obviously, Dimitri the Lover needs to be Virile. That kind of goes with his ethos. But let's go ahead and max out Intelligence first. We want to do Stewart and Medicine. Those will be our first two. Probably we'll do Charm next and then Leadership. We'll get a couple more points into trade, but maybe not max that out. We don't need to get a whole lot. Let's not get caught here. So there's two strategies we can go for when you're using mercenaries in the early game. So we can either go horse archers and we only need a handful of them and it'll do really well. Or we can go usually low tier. These macemen are pretty high tier though. The only problem is it's going to use up all our money. What I want to do is make sure that we have enough money to get all the different food types. We don't have a good way to earn XP in the early game. Let's just take the macemen. 
They're pretty expensive, though. These are all tier 5. Oh, no, they're tier 4. So they can upgrade again. We're going to leave them tier 5, though. We do need to take some fights because we got some overhead. No, I don't want to share it, man. Oh, nice. He actually gave up. All right, let's follow him. All right, we got it ourselves now. We don't need to do anything fancy here. I actually don't even want all these guys to survive because I do want to get some XP for medicine. So let's just send him in. We'll stretch him out just a tiny bit, but they'll be fine on their own. Yeah, we need to lose a few people so we can get some medicine XP. And we don't want to lose too many. That would be bad. All right, we lost three. All right, wow, it's a 2v2. These guys are trash, man. <laughs> How do you lose to looters? They were outmatched only by two in number. They should have been all right. And those were straight up deaths. But it's okay because they're kind of expensive. Gotta help Regea become the true leader she deserves to be. Whatever that means. All right, let's go sell some stuff so we're not completely broke. Like I said, losing some people is good because that reduces our wage. Yeah, outriders are really expensive. Those are the horse archers. So we'll probably avoid them for now anyways. And what I'd like to do is try and get these guys mounts. But the problem is it just doesn't leave us with any money. That's all right. All right, let's keep moving. I would prefer to find low tier and then just spam low tier because we want to get more volume. The steward XP isn't based on the tier units. So like if you have a thousand peasants compared to a thousand tier six, you get the same XP. You do get more XP for other things, but for that stuff, you get the same. Now, can we get some cheap stuff? Nope, it's all pikes. I don't think we're going to be able to do any of these quests because we don't have enough troops. So we got to try and find something like deliver the herd, maybe. Crafting materials. I don't like that one. Let's go to Xeonica. Escort merchant caravan. I don't think they'll let us do it, actually. Yeah, we don't have enough troops. Hired spear. I think those are not the line that we want to take either. Now, the hired spear will actually go into crossbows. So that's not a bad idea. It's going to chew up all, literally all of our money, though. We can't do that. We need to find quests ASAP that we can actually do. Otherwise, we're going to go broke. Oh, boy. We might be in trouble here. No, we're a little bit faster. Oh, man. I can't even... It's so funny because like I'm so used to playing that campaign where I'm just not worried about running into anybody. Soloing it the whole map. And now it's like I can't fight at all. So I got to worry about the troops that I have. It's kind of funny. Yeah, we got to keep going till we find somebody that we can actually use. Okay, sister. Yeah, this not much better than having looters or tier one peasants, but whatever. All right, so we need to find a battle we can actually win. We could win against three. Let's see if we can circle back around to them. This is the main reason I usually like to go Outrider first. Yeah, there's no way we can take on that. Nine, we might be able to do. We're going to have to do a good job splitting them up, yeah. though. Seven's a safer bet. Yeah. Yeah, let's go seven first. We don't have the luxury of letting her shoot. She's going to get a couple shots off. She has to go melee. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and charge them in. We need to keep them somewhat separated. If we can keep these guys busy, then we'll be in a lot better shape. Oh, look at the Sword Sister. She got a kill. All right, we need to keep this guy from getting gang banged. Oh, he's going to die. We're going to die here. All right, make it quick. Make it quick. That's unfortunate. The early game's really tough. You got to be careful because these guys are terrible. The mercenary units, they're just really, really bad. All right, we got 374 gold. It's not very much. So I think what we'll have to do is maybe do a little bit of trading until we get back on our feet. Maybe we should probably do that in the first place and just trade. The mercenary units are trash. There's no other way to say it. There's no sugar coating it. They're just trash. That's okay. We'll take it a little slower. I mean, I'm not really in a rush on this one. So we need to find stuff that's cheap that we can carry around and sell. All right, silver ore. No, that's not a good price. We're looking for things that we can buy for a pretty good price. So like this one, the date fruit, that one's a decent price. 74% cheaper than average. We'll take it somewhere else and try and sell it. And then we'll just claw our way back up. All right, we'll get a little bit of money back for that. And let's see if there's anything else we can buy. Tools. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. So we're buying it for 110. Now we got to be careful not to get caught because then they'll take all of our loot. And then that's basically the only money that we have left. Yeah, I would love to speed through all this, but not much I could do about it. I didn't pause fast enough, did I? All right, we can pay him off 140. That's about what we paid for the equipment we have on us. So, yeah, man, this is that's kind of brutal, huh? It's a brutal start. All right, tools. That's more than we... Yeah, we bought it for 110. We'll sell it for that. Leather looks like it's a pretty good deal. We'll buy two of them. 151. Let's see. So we paid 150 for those. Let's see if we can get a little bit better price somewhere else. And then, like I said, we'll slowly work our way up. 
So we're not allowed to fight ourselves. So right now we're just trying to get a little bit of money saved up so that we can hire a big enough group. I probably should have done that in the very beginning. All right, that's not going to be enough profit. So let's go somewhere else. If we could save up maybe two, three grand or more, kind of like what we had at the start, but then I probably shouldn't have hired Maceman. I should have hired a large group of low tier units rather than a bunch of really expensive ones. I think that would have been a better call. Or just get Outriders and go that. But that one's... Using horse archers is really boring. All right, 162, it's still not a great price. I think the further south we go... Wait, what did we buy? Leather, yeah. I think the further south we go, the better off we'll be. They don't really have leather down there. Actually, that's not true. They'll, they'll have leather pretty much everywhere. But that's all right. Yeah, this place should have leather. Oh, that's a pretty good price. All right, we'll take that. So 412, silver ore. That's a pretty good price on silver. Yeah, 79. Now we can also take a mule... We got to be really careful not to get captured though, because then they'll take our mule and we just spent all our money on it. So I'm going to go super slow. So we bought our silver for 83. We got to go find somewhere else. I don't want to go south because they do have silver mines there. I think they don't have a whole lot up here in Kazate territory. So we'll head up that way. Silver. Oh yeah, that's a good price. All right, we got all our money back for buying the mule and then now we can buy some more trade stuff. So tools, that's a pretty good price. Let's actually buy all that we can there. So 93, let's see. I think we should probably go back in. Once I get a good deal, I don't like to go further in the same area. I kind of like to spread it out. We have Stuart already maxed. We're going to max up Medicine next. And then, like I said, we'll probably work on some of the other ones like Leadership and Charm. All right, this is getting a little hairy here. All right, we're uncovering. We'll probably go clear those out later when we get a decent crew. All right, we're not having a whole lot of luck here with these trade goods. All right, this one, I think we'll do it here. We'll just dump it. Yeah, that puts us up to over 500 at least. All right, wine looks like it's decent. We can buy one more. Let's just buy it all. So 135, Let's see if we can find a better place. Oh, crap. Yeah, I got to stop speeding up because that's how we got caught last time. It's tough because we don't have any scouting skill. So our vision range is basically zero. It's really easy to get caught doing that. That was a good one. We're up to almost 1,000 now. All right, wine is actually a really good price here, but we just that's what we just sold. All right, iron ore, I don't mind buying. No, it's not, it's not a good enough price, though. 14% less is not a good price. Beer is kind of a risk because everybody produces beer. Yeah, there's not really a good trade good here. So I think we'll just pass. We can pick up a single caravan guard. I think we're going to pass on that. Let's get a little bit more money going before we start hiring troops. All right, this guy might catch us. Yeah, we got to back out. Even with a crappy bow, like we could take on a group of 50 looters <laughs> and it's just no problem. Now it's like even having equal numbers, higher tier troops, you're still worried about dying. It's kind of crazy. It's crazy how fragile your army is when they're, you know, small numbers. All right, 48% cheaper is pretty good. We'll probably do that unless we find something better. Actually, oil is, man, they have a lot of good deals here. Now, this one we just sold somewhere else. Yeah, see, this is a good one for the trade rumors. So why don't we do the wine? Just because I already know we could take advantage of it. So Cyrenea, Onira, Argaron. I think what we can do is go to Epicrotia. I mean, we need to go to a lot of these anyways just so we can uncover the nobles and stuff. Every time you go into a thief, you get to uncover the nobles. So that's something we need to do eventually anyways. Did I not do that trade? I didn't. I canceled it, didn't I? I'm an idiot. Oh boy. Well, I guess we're doing something else. <laughs> Why did I not do that trade? That's okay. This is a really good trade. Oh, that's a good trade. Tools. Let's buy them all up until we're overburdened. So tools for 66. I didn't buy the wine. I, I thought I did and I, I guess I canceled. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's see if we can get better than... No, it's back down to the low price. All right, we got to try and find a good price for these tools. I don't know... It's the wood shops that produce them, and I think Sturgia usually has a couple wood shops, so I don't really want to go up there. Maybe we'll go... Actually, Kazate would be a decent place to sell them. I think they probably don't have too many. 101, that's still not really what I was hoping for. Yeah, let's... Actually, what does that say? Akalat is only 85. That's not good at all. All right, let's go Mekeb. I don't think we've gone there yet anyways. Oh, jeez. Dude, we could have bought them so much cheaper here. 55. All right, let's get out of here. So, because eight's not the place to be. Oh, here we go. This is a good price. Yeah, and it's red. 28% is not bad. We'll probably go down, I was going to say to 100 or so, but that's, we're already there. So, we got 1,700. 
Let's see what else we can buy here. I think maybe we get up to like maybe two or three grand and then we'll start hiring some troops. Leather looks like it's a pretty good deal. We'll just buy two of them, I guess. Wool looks pretty good. Not great, actually. All right, butter and cheese are pretty cheap. We can do a little bit of cheese. All right, what do they have here? Cav in small quantities. I'd rather have foot troops or archers if I'm going to do, you know, 10 or 20 units. That's not great. Yeah, that's not great at all. Let me see if we can find something else that's cheap. There we go. Pottery, that looks reasonable. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. If they have cheap troops, not gallant. Yeah, I, I'd rather upgrade them myself. I don't want the top tier if we don't have to. I'd rather raise them up myself just because we need to have high numbers so we can get our stewardship going. And then if they die, I don't feel as bad because they're not as expensive. All right, pottery. These are decent. Not great prices, but decent. Let's actually get rid of that one. It's kind of... I feel like we're not going to get a good price for that anywhere. All right, wine. Yeah, why, the price for wine is all out of whack. Imperial Car Caravan Guard. Don't want that. Let's actually go through Asteroid Territory and see if we can find some decent deals. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get a good price for cheese here. Velvet selling for 900. I'm sure we could find it cheaper. Oh, wow. Argron, Mysia, Umbrella. That's really cheap. Oops, did I, I canceled that, didn't I? Let's see if we can find some velvet then. That's a pretty good price. All right, if we can get velvet for like 400 or 500, I think that's a steal. We'll buy as much of it as we can. No, but the wine is... No, actually, wine's not that great. Cheese is really good here, though. Okay, we can dump the cheese. But yeah, eight hired spears. But wait, I think that's the one that we can get into crossbows. So it may not be a bad idea, although we can't afford to use all of our cash. Maceman, that's the same garbage units we bought before and they got thrashed all right here we go velvet 858 is not great let's buy some other stuff in the meantime so they're paying a lot for tools and pottery here oil is really cheap all right that's pretty good rote and epicrodia are paying a lot so 115 let's go to epicrodia wait what did it say it was rote it's not far yeah let's go to rote it's probably changed since we've been there last but whatever oh he almost caught us Jeez, i should have slowed that down yeah, look at that. They're not paying hardly anything for oil. We paid 115, I think it was. So it's still a pretty good price. And it puts us over 2k. Hired crossbow. That's the tier four. Now let's wait a little bit. I don't want to burn that much cash because then we're going to have overhead. We need to keep the money flowing. We need to have enough money to make money. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. All right, they're paying a lot for fur. Pottery. Yeah, we bought pottery for really cheap somewhere else. Lycaron. Can we go to Lycaron quickly? It's not far. Let's go to Lycaron. See if we can buy pottery. Oh, man. I gotta slow down. Like I said, the trading stuff is, to me, is just so boring. Like, doing this is not all that exciting. Getting impatient. All right, let's see. So they're paying good money for pottery at a lot of places, actually. Let's buy a little bit of leather. We paid about 160 for it. And then we're going to Lycaron for pottery. Now, let's do... We'll reset the perks. We'll do wholesaler for now, but eventually we'll switch it back to appraiser. All right, do you still have it? Party for 81. Yeah, they do. Nice. Leather is actually a pretty good price. Actually, we don't want to sell all of it, though. That's not... Yeah, once it goes to light green, that means you're barely making anything. We were buying pottery here, and then we'll take it straight back. Just buy as much as we can without going overburdened. Oh, there we go. Sell swords. Those are cheap. And they can go into the mercenary maceman, which is the dumpy ones that we had. All right, we're going to wait. Actually, let's just go straight. I already know they're not going to want to buy what we would just have. So let's go straight up to Rote. All right, we can sell the pottery. Yeah, the pottery is a really good price here. So that works out really well. We still have leather to sell. We could actually add on some leather. I don't really want to, though. Yeah, not a lot of this looks too appealing. So that's fine. We'll leave it. Let's buy all the wine. This is a really good price. So 131 we just got to find a better price than that. Let's start going to new lands. We keep kind of rotating this new area. All right, not good. Dimitri the Lover gained a skill point in writing. I will probably put a skill point into writing at some point. Just for the fact that I don't want to be on a really slow horse the whole game. We can't get XP very fast anyway, so it'll be a long time before we can level it up decently. But yeah. Oh, nice. Look at this. These are good trades. All right, that looks really good. So that's going to put us above 2k and we still have inventory. That's a good thing. All right, silver ore, that's a pretty good price. Let's actually stock up on silver. Nope, not that much, though. Only two, is it even worth it? Yeah, I guess it is. I don't really want to mess with beer too much, but that's really cheap. Now, leather is really, really good price here. Wine, not so much. It's not terrible, but it's not great. 
Oh yeah, pottery. That's really good. Oh, fortunately, we blew through a lot of our money. Now we could sell the wine, not at a great price, but at least we'll free up some inventory. All right, Dimitri the Lover is gaining trade XP, so that's good. Oh wow, Sword Sister followers. Those are the tier three. The only thing that doesn't make me too excited about this is it uses up most of our cash, but I do like the idea of having all the low tier. I'm wondering why it says that it's near the average price. I'm wondering if Velvet finally leveled out because it doesn't say that it's below the average. This is the average price around the world. I don't want to get locked in. I bet you a caravan finally hit that one place up. If you don't hit a trade like that quick enough, the caravans are going to snap. They're going to snatch it from you. All right, let's sell all these. This is a decent enough price. Yeah, say we could buy Velvet, but the problem is I don't know if it's a good price. Let's buy a couple of them. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Linen's pretty good. Wait, I didn't check. If they have like a, a small number of units, we could do it, but I don't want to spend that much. Okay, got to keep going. We are getting a pretty nice chunk of money though, so I think we need to start hiring troops soon. And then what we'll do is we'll go around doing quests. We need to fight some people so we can get our renown going again. Oh, Regea, let's go simp. Oh no, we can't simp. We're blocked. Uh, that sucks. That's a decent price. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Yeah, see, that's kind of why I didn't want to do the velvet. It looks like the price crashed everywhere for it. Pottery, we'll take some pottery. All right, we finally gained a level. And let's put that actually, hmm. We're mostly doing trading right now. And I want to get up to 125. So let's put a point into trade. That probably would have been a better idea than medicine. All right, we can buy 10 sister followers. I'm going to do it. Yeah, let's get that going. We need to buy some food though. Oh, we haven't had a place to sell the beer. All right, we need to buy some food in each category so we can get our stewardship XP. So let's do that. It is going to burn a bit of our cash, but we have to do it. Yeah, we have beer already. All right, we got all nine foods. This is perfect. Yeah, we're starting off really, really well on this. Actually, we don't need to buy that much fish. We already have beer. We didn't buy any beer. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's do it. All right, now we can finally start taking fights. Here we go. They're our first victims. Let's take these guys out. No, I don't want to share. I don't want to share, dude. Just piss off. Finally, we get to catch somebody and this guy's going to take them. All right, let's go after the five then. Oh, this is painful. So painful. All right, Dimitri the lover is in control of his ladies. Look at that. We got our own Charlie's Angels here. All right, let's try and keep these ladies alive here. Bait these guys in. Thank you. We need to get some medicine XP, so we'll take a hit or two. Hey, look at that. Go cook me a sandwich. It's totally something he would say. All right, we're going to make some money. That's all we need to do is make a little bit of cash. We could probably start doing some of these quests, which is going to make a huge difference as well. Train troops. Yeah, we could do that. It's not troops that we're going to keep. So I think that's a reasonable one. Like I said, we can't hire troops, regular troops, and use other. These are just temporary, so I think it's it's a reasonable one. Now, we need to save up money and get horses. We need to get mounts for them. I don't want to share with this guy. Oh, man, you're so slow, dude. Just catch him. Come on, Dimitri the Lover. Quit playing with your food and eat it. I thought they would have had the cavalry, but it looks like they only have one, two, three. Right, so let's get these guys off to the flank. We'll send them in at the last second so they don't get completely butchered. Oh, one of our sword sisters is going to get nailed in the head. Watch. Oh, it's coming. Oh, they killed somebody with a rock. Maybe that's just how it happened. They probably got shot by a crossbow, actually. Get them, borrowed troops. Don't be useless. All right, they're not completely useless, at least. Just mostly useless. All right, we can sell some pottery. It's not a great price, though, actually. Let's hold on to it. Let's get rid of the gear that we have. That ain't much, but it's enough to keep us alive, at least. All right, we want to make sure that our food stocks are staying at least two of each. We can make a little money selling the beer, but I think we'll just hang on to it. Army of poachers, there's no way we can deal with that. All right, let's keep fighting. Once we get these borrowed troops leveled up, we're going to be in a lot better shape because I think that quest pays like 2400 the first time you do it. It's a huge amount of money. But the problem is catching enough troop. It's going to be really hard. Let's see if we can catch the 13 then. They're maybe a little slower. Oh, this is so painful, man. I hate the early game when you can't catch anything. It's just so tedious. I could chase this guy for four days and maybe not even catch him. Or he'll group up with other bandit parties. And then I still won't be able to catch him. Let's get the six, maybe. We just burned through all that money that we made on the other one. Just chasing this guy. It's just so stupid, man. All right, we actually got a perk here. Let's take it because this is going to help us a little bit. So wages, it ain't much, but you know. 
Oh, you know what? We are slow because we have some prisoners. I probably should have dropped them off. All right, we got them cornered, though. We should be able to get them. Yeah, we got them. There we go. Only infantry. That's good. All right, let's get our little bar troops over here. See if we can distract them a little bit. Oh, they headshot that guy. All right, go get him. Oh, nice. So the bar troops got... They got a kill. <laughs> culture. The culture of Dimitri is Greek. For the purposes of Bannerlord, he is Empire. Dimitri the lover. All right, we need to get one more. Yeah, we got to upgrade one more, unfortunately. Let's go to Vostrom so we can get rid of these prisoners. It's slowing us down way too much. That'll give us a little bit more money. You know, we can have a shield. There's nothing in the rule says we can't have a shield. We can go body block. We'll keep the armor. If we sell it, it's not going to give us that much. It'll give us a pretty good amount of protection, at least. And then trade goods. We still have to find a home for some of these trade goods. We want to make sure that we're still earning the maximum amount. Oh, man, that date fruit is really expensive. We need to get our barred troops a little bit more XP. All right, we can sell some pottery. I'm just going to dump it. I don't think it's a great price compared to what we bought it for. And this velvet, let's just dump the velvet. That's a lost cause. Yeah, I shouldn't have bought it. That was my fault, but that's all right. Now, I do want to start stacking up horses. Holy crap. Only 100. That is really cheap. Wait. Oh, that's right. They changed saddle horse. What am I thinking? This is the cheapest non-pack animal. All right. Well, we'll take the money. Prisoners. 61. We'll take it. We should keep buying. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good way to make money in this campaign. Just in the early game. I don't want to buy too much of any one good. We'll just buy a smattering of stuff. And then also we need to keep... When stuff's cheap, we'll stock up on it. Yeah, Dateford's the only one that's super pricey. 